it is all the news all the time and uh my name as always is adam yeah and um i just want to say thank you for watching these videos and everyone's really welcome and uh if you're new to the channel uh why not hit the like and subscribe so you don't miss another video and uh yeah so we're looking at an interesting story today um it's coming out of uh, uh, Inside the Magic, which has close links to Disney in Orlando. But first of all, we're looking at uh, Marshawn Lynch, and he's, uh, I'm Captain Black Sparrow, he says, a uh, hilarious Thursday night football skit going on here. He looks brilliant. Look at that. <laughs> looks brilliant. Uh, move over, Johnny Depp. Marshawn Lynch is now officially America's most favorite pirate. Well, I don't know about that, because he dressed up as Captain Black Sparrow this week, and it was hilarious. The former NFL star got in his uh, Pirates of the Caribbean role for a special segment prior to Thursday Night Football on Thursday, clues in the name, after meeting up with Tampa Bay Buccaneers mascot Captain Fear at Raymond James Stadium. Brilliant. Uh, so Lynch donned a Depp-like outfit, I think that means. Uh, I thought he was going to have a fit, but no. And proclaimed, I'm Captain Black Sparrow in this uh, in this uh, man. Uh, <laughs> for your information, his locker was labelled as uh, Captain Beast Mode, whatever that is. Uh, but seems Lynch called an audible on that one midway through the segment. I think that means he uh, changed his mind and he wants to be, of course he wants to be Johnny Depp. He wants to be Captain Black Sparrow. He doesn't want to be some lame uh, Captain Beast Mode, some generic um, knockoff version. He wants to be the real thing. Of course he does. Uh, so Lynch and the mascot headed to the Buccaneers 100 foot long pirate ship. I think, oh, what? Nice. At the stadium just before Tampa took on the Ravens. And let's just say Lynch enjoyed climbing up to the boat with his big boots on. Watch how I hit these uh, mm -hmm, high steps with these thangs, he yelled. I bet you this thing ride like a caddy. Uh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff um what i like about this is it's um it's more of the uh appreciation and acceptance of johnny depp back into mainstream society um well, the seems to have got rid of this uh defamation trial cloud that's been hanging over him now he's uh, back in the uh, the world and everyone just loves him for uh, captain jack sparrow edward scissorhands uh but, and all the other films i mean there's so many films so uh, i think that's brilliant but what the interesting story i think the main story we're looking at today is um johnny depp changes his mind and considers new disney offer this is coming from inside the magic they're quite a uh, tight organization with disney itself they're based in orlando florida and uh they're very yeah it's very interesting how close they are so let's have a little look the saga between johnny depp and walt disney company has taken many interesting turns. Uh, for the last several months, people across the country have been tuned into the ongoing Johnny Depp versus Amber, Hods, Amber Heard saga. The trial ended four months ago with uh, Mr. Depp being awarded 10.35 million in compensatory damages, yes he did. And there have been plenty of developments since the defamation trial ended. Random photo. Uh, AH was reportedly offered a deal for a revenge tell all book. Yeah, I don't know why she doesn't do that. Uh, worth millions. But the biggest question surrounding Depp has been their potential return to the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, which would be uh, freaking awesome. Uh, whilst, a <laughs> freaking awesome. whilst a representative for JD uh, recently responded to rumours that the actor could return to Disney with a resounding no, it does seem that the latest reports, the attitudes are beginning to change in both directions and both camps. Johnny Depp and his history with Disney. Uh, in total, there have been five movies made in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, all of which Captain Jack Sparrow, played by Johnny Depp, was the lead protagonist. Uh, let's have a list. We've got Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, and Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Uh, so yeah, uh, in addition to his work in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, how many times am I going to say that today? <laughs> Quite a lot. Uh, Depp has also starred in several more Disney films. He is like Mr. Disney, this guy, uh, including Edward, not a personal favourite of mine. I don't know why, but I don't. Uh, Finding Neverland, brilliant. Alice in Wonderland, brilliant. Lone Ranger, brilliant. Into the Woods, brilliant. And Alice Through the Looking Glass, super brilliant. Uh, so yeah, just, just that one I'm not so keen on anyway. Uh, Depp was named a Disney legend in 2015 and he's the only actor to have three of his characters appear in the Disney Infinity series. He was mentioned in Hannah Montana. Well, that's what we all live for, to be mentioned by Hannah Montana. That's, that's the dream, isn't it? Uh, however, <laughs> Hannah Montana. 
However, the father of Lily Rose Depp and John Christopher Jack Depp III, that's a name and a half, reportedly had an incident, yeah, this is where it all started to go horribly wrong, um, occurred during the filming of the last Pirates of the Caribbean film. Uh, that's another time I've said it. Uh, Mr. Depp appeared on TV drunk and stoned, Ooh, to the point that Disney studio execs called his agent, uh, asking, what the hell is wrong with your client? These same issues appeared during the filming of Pirates 5, and Disney told Ms. Jacobs, the conduct was not going to be tolerated, Disney was not going to put up with this, and that there was no love between Johnny and Disney, given the Pirates 5 situation. Uh, so it all started to go horribly wrong and unravel at this point. Uh, the incident caused Disney to begin souring on the actor, and when the allegations from AH came forth, that was it, uh, Disney reportedly turned its back on the actor. Oh, bad times. Uh, during the court trial, Depp said he wouldn't return to Disney, even if the, comp even if the company offered him $300 million. Uh, dollars. But, but, is Johnny Depp returning to Disney as Captain Jack Sparrow? Uh, despite his comments in the court trial, there have been many fans and insiders who have remained steadfast that they believe we'll see the actor return to his role as Captain Jack Sparrow as well, like my good self. A report from Pop Topic, uh, which I, I've got here, we'll come back to that in a second, um, indicates that Depp changed his mind slightly from what we heard during the court trial, and at least he would entertain an offer from Disney. Um, now, I was told by this, uh, I was told this a lot by a lot of people the last few weeks, uh, maybe for over a month, that uh, Disney was gonna give uh, Johnny Depp 300 million. And I thought, that's, in, that's just insane. You don't pay an actor, even Johnny Depp, you don't pay an actor $300 million when the entire budget of the film is $300 million. Um, the most Johnny Depp's ever been paid is uh, 75 million. I mean, I'm saying that's a serious chunk of cheese, but uh, he got paid 20 million up front for his part in Alice in Wonderland, and he got 55 million at the end of the film in residual fees. So the total was 75, but that's a long, long way from 300 million, like a long way. So people were saying to me, oh, he's gonna get paid a 301. And I was like, no, that's just some joke they said in the, in the actual trial, and no one's gonna pay. This is my opinion on it. That was my opinion, but let's have a look here. It says, Disney is thinking about offering 300 million for Johnny Depp's return. I was like, really? But nothing has been agreed yet. As of right now, Johnny is still considering any offer that comes his way. If he returns to the franchise, this would argue, arguably become one of Depp's busy, biggest wins. Now it would be arguably, it'd be vastly the best one he's ever done. After being dropped from Disney, without having any proof of what AH accused him. The way I can see Disney paying 300 million is that it's not for one film, it's for more than one film. Um, and that's where this comes into play. And I was thinking, ah, oh, okay, maybe. Um, and it was said, in addition, it was noted in the report that Disney might be interested in Depp not only returning to play Captain Jack Sparrow in the film franchise, but also for a spin-off series. So we end up with a film and a series with Captain Jack, and that's where 300 million comes from. 150 for each one becomes, you know, still a massive chunk of change, but it becomes more viable. A source close to Depp spoke to the folks from Pop Topic, uh, these guys, and, um, about Depp's possible return to play Jack Sparrow. And this is what they said. They reached out to the actor prior to the defamation trial against AH and asked whether he would be interested in returning for another film or two. The deal is reportedly for Johnny Depp to return as Jack Sparrow uh, in Pirates of the Caribbean 6 and a spin-off Disney Plus series because the Disney Plus uh, streaming service is doing enormous uh, good trade. It's taking on hundreds and hundreds of millions of new subscribers all over the world. Um, so yeah, massively, uh, really doing well. And Disney has got a huge amount of money at the moment with profits up by 50%. So there's, there's cash in Disney at the moment. It is awash with cash. So maybe, maybe things, you know, are viable. Um, anyway, a spin-off Disney series about the early life of Captain of the Black Pearl. Wow, wouldn't that be cool? Uh, what I can tell you is that the studio has already penned up a draft for a film about Jack Sparrow. So they're very hopeful Johnny will forgive and return as his iconic character. And there he is, uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, so what we've got down here, we've got old Margot. Uh, she's trying to jump in there. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean 6, what do we know already? Knowing that Disney is interested in bringing Johnny is one thing, but actually being able to agree a deal following all the fallout is another thing. But there's been a lot of stuff on Twitter and photos of uh, clues, people are saying. Uh, big letters on his shirt, like a P. Not like a little, you know, thing, but the full size of his back, one letter P. And 
X on various things. There's been a lot of, uh, have a look at Twitter. There's some interesting stuff going on. Um, I don't know if it's clues or statements or, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to look into it. But anyway, um, so knowing he's interested, but is he going to actually come back? Is there a deal possible between the parties? Mm. So Pirates of the Caribbean producer Jerry Bruckheimer uh, revealed seven months ago that Margot Robbie, there she is, was slated to take over as the new lead in the sixth installment of the franchise. But there's a problem with that, which we'll come to. At this point, not many details have been given on Pirates of the Caribbean 6 and what we might expect, assuming that Johnny Depp is in, in uh, or not, we don't know. So many have speculated Margot Robbie will likely be cast as the long lost daughter of Captain Jack Sparrow and the film will follow her on her own adventures. I'm going to call her Captain Jackie Sparrow. Uh, <laughs> I still don't like the idea though. At the very end, there are rumours that Depp could make a cameo. Yeah, that's that's just a cheesy sort of move, isn't it? They try, they're trying to tie Johnny Depp in and try and legitimise the film by putting him in as a, at a cameo at the end, but oh, it's just not good. Um, so a possible cameo. If, if that was the one, if I was Johnny, I'd demand 300 million for that because that's just uh, that's just cheating um but there you go cameo if a deal with disney is able to be finalized margot robbie uh, who is known for her work as harley quinn in suicide squad yeah that's the pro problem she's in harley quinn suicide squad and that's a dc film and this is a disney film so these two companies are rivals so yeah it could be a problem birds of prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one harley quinn terrible film as well as many others including focus alongside will smith mm, that didn't go well i told you <laughs> Once upon a time in Hollywood and Suicide Squad along Pete Davidson and John Cena. Uh, she's not shared any public comments on the reported casting. We've also got uh, we've got Dwayne The Rock Johnson in the frame as well. There's been reports that uh, Disney is considering Dwayne Johnson. Uh, can you smell what the uh, rock is cooking for a lead role as well but not as Johnny Depp or oh, sorry not as Captain Jack Sparrow uh, but as his own separate character in the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean universe shall we say um, what else is going on uh, this is from Giant Freaking Robots that's a nice website it's already been announced by Jerry Bruckheimer two spin-offs are in the works actually three one will see Margot Robbie take the lead the other is uh, currently a mystery however based on our trusted and proven source we can report there's a third spin off and this one might star Dwayne Johnson and I've heard rumors that there is even an animated series uh, there's so many things going on it doesn't seem uh, that Johnson will play the role of Captain Jack no but rather be a different character introduced into the franchise similar to what would be seen with Margot Robbie's spin-off film it's unclear if Rob Johnson and Robbie could star in the film together but it could make for an interesting dynamic both Johnson uh -huh, this is another problem Johnson uh, is filming Black Adam which is uh, pretty much out at the moment and and uh, Margot Robbie is in Harley Quinn, but they are both DC Comics movies. So, and that's a rival to Disney. So you can't really bring them across. Uh, so that could be a real major problem, but for them, but it could be a very good situation for Johnny Depp getting paid 300 million. Uh, and we get a new film and we get a series brilliant uh, there have been plenty of reports uh, following Johnny since the trial ended oh, there's been all new, all sorts of news Depp has been uh, in a relationship sort of maybe with Joel Rich I, I find that difficult to believe and difficult to prove uh, his attorney Camille has been in the news and she's dumped Kanye West even though Kanye West says that he fired her it, she, he didn't <laughs> uh, Camille said uh, you've got to um, retract what you said and he, he said no and she said well I'm not working with you then you're an idiot uh, Depp has been focusing on his music career yes he has indeed sold out across the whole of Europe uh, sold out across now the US he's uh, on a week's break I think he's coming back in about three days and uh, yep he sold out tours everywhere and uh, he's going to be in uh, always directing his new film Modigliani which is about an Italian artist it's like uh, I think 24 hours or 48 hours in the life of Amadeo Modigliani and uh, he's kind of a chaotic character if ever I've seen one and uh, if that's not all good enough uh, Depp hasn't been affiliated with Disney He's still open to pulling out the Captain Jack Sparrow imitation online from time to time. He did that very recently uh, for some guests uh, at a gig, which was uh, quite interesting. Now, there's uh, a link to that on one of my videos if you want to have a look. Um, in addition, uh, the, uh, the fans, like myself, have been showing avid support this Halloween, making Jack Sparrow the most popular costume of the season. There's been a spike in sales, 85% growth 
in the uh, sale of Captain Jack Sparrow costumes. It couldn't be going better for Johnny Depp, let's say. Uh, the retailer's got two different types of costume. As we know, it's got the cheap one at 95 and it's got a good quality one at between 255 and 300 um, And they've never been more popular. And they are the most popular thing on Halloween at the moment, apart from Lightyear. Yeah, I didn't like that. And Top Gear, amazing. Loved that film. Um, <laughs> so many good things. And... Uh, Tim Burton's also in the case, of course he is, and Joe Depp. I connected with him when I met him for Edward Scissorhands. He said he was similar to me, kind of suburban white trash. It's not even a verbal understanding. It's something I could feel. He liked the characters. He was interested in acting for the art of it. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Not the business of it. It was exciting to see someone play things. The idea of this transformation from film to film always excited me. There he is in his uh, nice car. And uh, so there you go. A lot of interesting stuff. Could be, because this comes from Inside the Magic, and this is quite linked. So there's, it's almost like uh, Disney are using Inside the Magic to uh, put this out there and uh, prepare the audience and prepare maybe Johnny. And uh, there's rumors that he was offered uh, a basket and uh, there's been talks with him. So there's real strong indications that Pirates of the Caribbean 6 may well be going ahead. And a TV series. Brilliant. TV series. Pirates of the Caribbean. Season 4. Episode 9. Brilliant. I like the idea of it already. Um, let me know your thoughts and your hopes, your dreams, your ambitions. And uh, like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. If you haven't already subscribed, that would be fantastic. There's super thanks if you want to jump on that. Join the membership. Uh, if you find any other buttons, press those as well. That's always fun. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do a giveaway, I think, tomorrow. I've got a Dior bracelet uh, that's arrived in the post. I'll be giving one of those away and i've got another album oh i've got so many of these albums uh, the 18 uh, johnny depp jeff beck album i'm gonna be giving that away as well because we hit 4,000 subscribers it's all going well all right um i've talked enough i think all right i'm gonna see you guys later